Here's Debbie. They, um, they are only inviting comments from partners, and I'm presuming that we would qualify as a partner organization. Uh, the city of Orange certainly would, and, and since we are a part of that. Um, and uh, I have submitted my individual comments as well, but I would welcome if we can come up with agreed upon language or maybe I can submit them as I, I can submit again on the, on the committee's behalf, but I do worry about this goal of being world class recreation. Um, that phrasing needs to be, I think, defined a little bit because uh, that might suggest a lot of development. Um, world class recreation that 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 that, that, that could be a lot of related congestion and cost of living issues and business development. 
And then if you look at there's they've got this table four in chapter eight that is sort of the heart of my detailed comments. And if you look at that, it's a scoring system for future projects. And there's like uh, 14 evaluation criteria. And of those 14 criteria, only two of them are on the natural qualities of the lake. And uh, a third is on community needs and values. So only three of the so so there's a little bit of disconnect in the report as far as uh, as in my view, because the early part of the report where they lay out their goals is all about communities and building communities and sustainability. But it's a little bit worrisome because when you get to how we're going to evaluate projects, they actually have 14 criteria and only three of those and the rest are, are much more development oriented. And so it seems possible that these individual criteria, the point system could overwhelm uh, their good goals. And so I think there's a disjuncture there. And I think it is worth uh, pointing out that disjuncture. That's my main concern. Can I ask a clarification question? Sure. I, there are 12 goals, right? Uh, 12 goals? I thought there were 14 evaluation criteria. You're Have talking I about that? Things. I'm looking at table three in chapter eight. Is that what you want to speak at? I am looking at table four in chapter eight. Okay. Um, uh, I am not hooked into that now. So just a minute, I would need to load it up again here. Yes, um, let's see, where's my link to this? Um, Sure, sure. I'm having troubles pulling up my link. I, I see table four. This is the one that has the scoring scale. The matrix, yes, right? it has the matrix, right. Um, and this, it's a little bit different than table three. So that's part of where you have a mismatch as well. Um, table three uh, is those. Uh, Three big buckets of communities, recreation, and ecosystems. Right. So yes. They, so they're, they're calling those goals. Yes. Yes. That, and I am seeing a disconnect between those goals and the scoring system they've created for future projects. So do you have concerns about the goals as well? No. I think other than the phrasing of the one goal, which I think uh, just raises some concerns. I think the goals are actually really quite good. I, I really, I really think they're nice. I think they've done a nice job on them. So the world class recreation, I don't think shows up in table three. But... It's an overarching goal, I think, as stated earlier on. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Right. They see that as a continuation of the sailing that occurs currently. I mean, World class. I mean, we have boat harbors and we have pork and launches and that Provo. I guess the, my question is: Do they see that as making it more recreational or keeping what they have? Is more. Yeah, I think they want more. But I mean, this is my concern: is is it's not. Yeah, what does world class recreation mean? Um, especially because another one of their goals is is making this for neighborhoods and local communities so while those two things might be in conflict. So I appreciate you um, responding to that email and reminding us of this. And I went a couple nights ago and read through everything. Okay. And I submitted a few comments. Um, Good, I, thank you. I included the, the world class and suggested perhaps Changing it, they later in the they use the word high quality, and so you know that could still work fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, high quality recreation, um, and then a couple other comments, just some possible suggestions on word changes. But um, the other one that came to mind was um, when it comes to businesses. Uh, you know, attracting businesses to create more of a destination, professions, you know, um, 
I, I would like to see them prioritize businesses that are proactive about acknowledging the sensitivity of the ecosystem where they are mm -hmm. and to put forth a business plan that incorporates that understanding, um, you know, fertilizer wise um, landscaping, because obviously the fertilizer that goes into the lake, um, litter abatement issues. But so, yeah, I'd like to see if we're bringing businesses more businesses to the lake. I recognize that that boosts the economic opportunities there, but I'd like to see kind of the character of those businesses mm -hmm. acknowledge the, the, you know, the need to be home in the season. When you were saying that, I was thinking of using um, concessions, some sort of um, recyclable container to put your food in. You know, yeah. In my mind, you know, something that would have really highlight a, a, a set or yeah, stewardship yeah. of doing yeah. that. And so I, I mean, I like eating out of things that are refurbished. In my mind, I'm thinking of like the wooden, you know, like the little plates that are like wooden yeah. Yeah. or like some sort of sustainable. Even paper is better than plastic or styrofoam, yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. But also concerns about added litter potential that's yeah. drawn by the lake. Yeah. Yeah. So what no, is, what is your plan for yeah, that's, that. very nice. that's a very nice thought. Mm -hmm. So, is a, a potential, I guess, potential suggestion if, if there's 14 criteria and maybe two or three of them have a logical or environmental sort of <clears throat> focus? Yeah. Um, one option would be to weight some of them more than others. Yeah. Right. So is that what you already wanted to suggest there? I or? didn't make any particular suggestions as to how to solve this problem. I do okay. because I think there's a couple of ways you could solve it. But I like the weighting idea. Mm -hmm. um, a, a criteria that said that all other I don't know yeah, there, there might be another way to do it, like all categories must at least meet minimum ecological criteria mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that serves as the initial filter and then from there. Right, from there, right. Yeah, once it's passed, right. Um, are you, yeah. yeah. Are, are you on table three? I am on table four right now. I can get to table three. So one thing that helps me understand table three yeah. is on the right side, there are targeted criteria. These are from table four. Mm -hmm. These are criteria for all this. And so what you'll see they try to do there is they try to create eight class cutting criteria. Mm, I see. And then there are two targeted criteria for each of those three things. Um, so I, I one of the potential responses to it is to say it's not so much two out of the 14 things about this. It's that half of our more than half of our criteria are actually goal specific, but are just much more about that said. Those criteria for all goals also seem to me that they could swamp the scoring for the ecosystem. Mm. And so if they are equally weighted, then I suspect it's. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's similar to. Right. Uh, I am supportive of an NRC statement that. Suggests that in the amended proposal that um, the environmental performance and regulatory components elements um, uh, only weighted the same as the other criteria. 
the scores you on both of those, right? You still have the yeah. project that we're teaching you about. Exactly. Yeah, that's the problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm not sure that it's transparent in here how Right. So that I, I think that's a, a just a comment for us. Um, and I'm also supportive of the low class proportion. I don't think so. Uh, I, when I think of Utah Lake, I don't think of the low class proportion. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is world class recreation? Is like Lake Powell, Powell. Lake Powell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not somewhere. Yeah, or Clear Creek. They would like to do it you know, more of Sunday. It's right. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that the possibility. Yeah, I think that, right. I mean, the lake has always, from the scientists yeah. I listen to, the lake has always. The lake will never look like Bear Lake, right? Never going to be crystal clear. It never has looked crystal clear. It hasn't been a shiny blue gem. It's it's just been murky. That's just how it is. And I just worry that if you say world class, that it sets a different kind of standard. People want Crater Lake in Oregon. That's a world class in some ways, but not it's not recreation, recreation right? right? It's not recreation, right? That's it's a scene. But yeah, Tahoe is probably the better example, right? Um, well, uh, I, I, I think, I wonder if it's uh, best to, uh, um, since I've already submitted a comment, I'm, I'm not sure it makes sense for me to submit. I wonder if we can just sort of delegate to someone to, to put some language to the principles that we've discussed here and, and submit it on behalf of the community. I don't know that we need to make specific language. In this one. Okay. Is that? Hillary, you're with us. Um, we're talking about you're the the, uh, the Utah Lake Management Plan. Yes, I've heard, and I have to tell you that the world class recreation was a hot debate of contention when we were writing these things. Because I also, it was like world class recreation, like, um, but some people were very adamant about it. So I think it'll be good feedback. What was their vision of world class? I, I just want to ask you that. <laughs> um, I think really what they, I think the intention is to increase recreational uses and to make them better quality like have a better experience for recreationalists there. I think that was it. <laughs> but world-class yeah. sounds good, right? <laughs> yeah, it might just be a, I don't know. Okay, um, is there anything that you would like to be reflected in the NRSC comments on the management plan? I don't think so. I know we have a ULA meeting next Wednesday um, at like 9 to 1030. I'm sure there'll be a public comment period there too. If you like want to express these before, like in a different venue, I'm sure those would be welcome. I think the point about um, the evaluation criteria is really important that you don't want it to overshadow. Yeah, in fact, now that I look at this um, in chapter eight, there's a, a figure six, which it says multiple criteria analysis step six, identify history priority projects, and is this conceptual? So it just said, this says here are 26 potential projects, and it appears to me that they're just adding up scores. Yeah, I believe that is what they intend to. And that means that you could end up with. Uh, so something, maybe project 16, for example. Right. Um, right, it's quite it's high to tell. Yeah. It's quite highly ranked. Or I'm look, let's look at project, say, 25, uh, where the, uh, the two in, uh, I'm not looking at the all right. Environmental performance is kind of two color. 
Does that, does it go up from the bottom? So that first one aligns with the LA mission is always the first one. Yeah. And the teal is always the second one, yeah. maybe. I'm just not seeing the uh, not sure. regular curve. But, yeah. but, right, you, I mean, you could easily see here their conception is say something mm -hmm. like Project 3 uh, is terrible. Right, right. The score it has no above. teal in it, but it still scores fairly well. Right. Scores above, say, projects 10 and 11 that have a lot of teal in them. Yeah. Right. That is precisely my concern. Okay. Yeah. Now, I am willing to, to volunteer to do that. I would love that. Yeah. But I want to make sure that I incorporate everyone's perspective to that when we distinguish. I just, I think that either of those solutions that we've proposed, that either there is an initial environmental regulatory filter before anything else is considered, or a significant weighting system. Either one of those would be Yeah. Because I, I feel like no matter how good of a development, economic boom, whatever, a particular project could be, if it's going to ruin the lake yeah. as a functioning ecosystem, it needs to not pass muster. And or that has uh, community impacts that, right? Yeah. And that, that, yeah. Yeah. So okay. That, that are unhelpful. But. So we think this is a flawed uh, matrix, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, I, I, I do say, I, I think that, right? I, I do like a lot of this, and, mm -hmm. and, and their goals, many of the goals are very nice. and. You know, Quinn, that that, that uh, table three that you pointed to before, right? The goal description: improve water quality, restore robust and resilient population of fish, restore health and. Right? I mean, there's a lot of good language in here, right? Easy and affordable access. Uh, uh, you know, improve the quality of recreational experiences. But right, uh, there's just a disconnect, and it's a and it's a worrisome disconnect because yes. Ecological and community criteria could be swamped by development criteria. Sorry, uh, anything else you want to? Oh, sorry. No, I was going to add one more thing, but uh, I was going to add just that I have also shared these concerns with the mayor and with Terry Peterson, and both were responsive and appreciated my sharing. So. I echo that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Um, just like the other couple comments were simple things like um, on the emphasizing, as far as the connecting, emphasizing active transportation, I suggested maybe prioritizing active transportation. Um, and then, oh, um, the other was um, concerns about, uh, you know, I when you're talking about expanding recreation, I'd like to make sure that non-motorized um, water sports also feel like they have a place there. I think there are some <laughs> bodies of water where the character of the recreation on that body of water is motorized, you know, water sports. And that's just where everybody knows that's where you can go. And I would like to make sure that we still preserve um, some of the quieter opportunities to engage in the natural spaces. I mean, there, there, you know, we have a lot of shoreline, and so obviously there, there's room for kind of more energetic fairs, festivals, um, ways to enjoy the lake. But also, I'd like to make sure that, and and they mentioned that about the educational um, opportunities. So I just, you know, would like to, to preserve more quiet contemplative engagement with the lake, um, including water sports and non water rights water sports that feel welcome. Mm -hmm. well. yeah. It's yeah. also a personal issue for me. I was one of the regular ones. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> they got a lot of woes around the table. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was in a non motor rights. Ah. Uh, yeah. And it was like that in the split the split oh. in half. Oh and I went under and I have I have the color mark for the Oh my gosh. Oh. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. It's a very rare experience. 
morning. Yeah, so it would probably be in the morning of May 6th. Yeah. Um, anything else you'd like to say for the No, I think the main question we were left with last time is, you know, who's the audience for this? I mean, obviously the, the city council, but but um, is it community? Is it mm -hmm. only the city council? Um, and their idea was partner organizations who are also interested in biking. And I really like that idea. Mm -hmm. And so I, I just kind of, you, you said this already, but I wanted to highlight it. Because, you know, who knows if the city council has so many demands on their time, how many can make it and so forth. But, and community, that gets a little unwieldy. It feels like a happy medium to me to have partner organizations mm -hmm. that are also interested in promoting active transportation and we can get to know. So let's say no city council people show up. Yeah. We can still have a successful event in a worst case scenario mm -hmm. where they're all busy, where we make uh, ties with partner organizations mm -hmm. and we talk about common goals for active transport. Right. And if other, and so, right. So I, I really like that idea. I think that was the main idea. Of that. Well, Tom is a cyclist, and if he's in town, he'll come to it. Yeah, he's hard work. <laughs> he is hard work. Um, I have an e-bike, so I'll do work for that. <laughs> I own that thing. Oh, oh, I don't think it's the best thing ever. Then I ride it around my neighborhood. It's nice, but that that's awesome. It's not for it's not enough. It's a road. It's, it's wonderful, and I love it. And I will come and visit the. I mean, I could probably do the other one based on the length of the time. I just have to prepare for my business card. Um, Jeff Lampson will probably come out. I can't gauge the mayor. He's just pretty scheduled. And then um, Dave Spencer, I don't know. Renee's daughter is actually has stage four cancer. She was going to help her mission, unfortunately, come through. Oh, wow. it's, it's not looking great. Well, that's horrible. So mm. my guess is depending on her uh, therapy horrible. and yeah, it, it was very <clears throat> unexpected and I, oh. I haven't heard if it's going well or not, but that is very, very serious. So I'm going to say she's maybe. And I, I mean, you have something to do with the relationship with Terry. I don't know if he's a cyclist. I've never heard him talk about it. Huh. I did find out he used to be a Utah State Park Ranger. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's news to me. <laughs> you knew that somehow. Right. He shared that uh, on our survey. Oh, okay. okay. So, what I would say, my guess is you would get three of us out. Of the seven. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be great. And like I said, if Tom is in town, hard for mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, another, um, I, I don't know if they're collaborators so much as someone. People that we could invite would be uh, members of the Orem Transportation Advisory Commission. Sure. Who would be a good point person? Just me and I'll just Sam you. Kelly. Um, okay. Yeah. That's what we're aware of. As many people from that commission as well. Yeah, we, we would love to have them. Um, you think about cycling clubs at high schools or like some of these high schools have like huge. Yes. Is that yeah. your, one of your charter or do you not want the teens or the I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I think we, I think the, I think the restricting participation of it would be a nice, maybe, maybe a, a leadership, a, a, a you know, mm -hmm. select leadership of a, a club like that. Okay. Sure. So I, 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 yeah, I just worry about coordinating with too many people. Okay. And think that well, and the nature of the activity, um, their use yeah. of mount, it's mountain biking. Yeah. Oh, then right. It's yeah. mountain biking. Yeah. This is more it's, of it's a, a yeah, this is a understand the community yeah. and the issues. And, yeah. So my initial thought after being presented with the two options was the short, flat connectivity option sounded great because these are people that are interested in using biking, not just as recreation, but maybe moving around town, right? Like if I want to, you know, take my kids to go do something or do some shopping or anything like that. The, the yeah. connectivity is really, yeah, I think key. And rather than you know drive drive with your bike on the back of your car to the Murdoch Canal Trail, and, and which is also fun, but that's a different kind of bike. Yeah, right. that's right. So that was my initial thought: was that route might be better for this audience. Makes sense. Everyone's. Okay. You want so, any city administration coming out? Want to 
Ivy or fleet chief, fire chief. You want people who have potentially, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe brown and dark. Yeah, I think that that would be a good idea. Six. Six. Oh, exactly. 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 I mean, Ryan, that's right. Yeah, we didn't even try. Jackson down. Sure. <laughs> you guys, it's out of this. Yeah. Yeah. I, can, I can tell you, I did an event where they had an e bike for me and I was sold at my pocket. <laughs> it was up at Tippinogos Park up the canyon. I'm like, this is awesome and I'm only one of those. So, Gomez, guess what you're going to be for Christmas, my birthday, and our anniversary? You didn't balk. So I will then um, reach back out to, to Shauna uh, with that feedback, and then we'll reach out to the potential partners, and we'll get this thing rolling. Yeah. And as and put together some yeah. invitations. Let's get some invitations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, were there any reasons why that day was rejected that day? Which one? This May sixth. May sixth. May sixth. We just decided to do something. Um. I just learned something from the Kayla. She has something to share. Oh, it's <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. Involved my e bike conversion kit for my bike. I think that's an interesting story to hear. And, you know, as far as you're looking to swap up your. Yeah, I could use that. I didn't know that either. I didn't know it was possible. I didn't know it was possible. That's an interesting startup. Wow. So, asking how much it costs? It was 67. Okay. It took a pretty solid conversation. But you're gonna you're gonna do the conversion and report back, right? Yep. I would love to build custom pieces for your bike. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, that's right. Well, my bike was only like sixteen hundred, so it wasn't like crazy expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you have what you need to proceed? Yes. I I feel badly because I have not been there. Okay. Okay. I believe I will maybe make it a year. One of these years. Yeah. <laughs> that was the last one. Right. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Great. Uh, Matt, you uh, raised over email this month um, or an area, or station area for me. Mm -hmm. you want to speak to that a little bit so we're on the same page? Yeah. So, so more that's what you want from us. Or an area station, station area plan for the foreign partner station. Mm -hmm. So, by state law, we're going to be required to prepare station area plans for every Front runner and bus rapid transit plan. If I remember correctly, it's a half mile radius from the station in various plans. Just look at all the typical land use type questions of housing, density, the increased ridership, the traffic light. Um, it's required by the state now um, as a housing tool, I would believe. And um, they have tied transportation money that we receive to it. Um, if you don't adopt That's these plans, plans, what that we currently receive. Um, we don't have the one station for the front runner. Yes, but we have three or four front bus route yeah, and transit yeah. stations. Uh, we do have a time schedule, especially since we have multiple stations. Grant's um, really in charge of it, so you know, I want to pay attention to it enough to speak by it. Um, I believe most of the plans just wrapped up by 2025. Uh, we have hired a consultant to uh, sort of kick us off on this first one. We chose the front runner station because it is a multi modal station. It was, only, it was just low hanging fruit. You know? And uh, again, the consultant, uh, we're looking to create a stakeholder committee to help uh, provide input, guide process. We try to make it as broad based as possible. Uh, one of the ways we're doing that is inviting council members on the way zones that they're assigned to to assign to council members. 
or sorry, two committee members, one or two, if you're interested in participating in the state board committee. Uh, we're, tip, we're planning Thursday nights, I think it's still once a month. Uh, it's a little in flux. First thing we're trying to have some kind of people. Um, the overall adoption to do for this one by the end of the year. So the time frame is sort of flexible, but not. So, um, it, it, and, uh, you're because it would be helpful to have enough. So, we're asking Debbie to appoint two of you if you're interested to be on the committee. Oh, two. <laughs> No, <laughs> but I would love whoever has time or interest. That's the one you said to sign me up. Okay. So we I would apply to I don't that. think it was clearly communicated. I temporarily put Debbie and yeah. Darren here. I know that's retired. That's my big friend. Uh, on the list, but if that changes, it's got to upgrade. So, so including. Well, she, she, as a council member, she's welcome to show up wherever she wants. Yeah. <laughs> my time on council lines in December, so yeah. they have a meeting before. No, this is all starting next month. I think they want to wrap it up um, sooner than later, but the planning staff is not interested in wrapping up sooner. The consultant wants to wrap it up sooner or later, but we're interested in <laughs> wrapping up a little bit later. So. Uh, what? Are the issues of the city council? Well, the the state mandates what the plan is supposed to do, what it's supposed to study. Now, uh, ultimately, uh, we're facilitating a process to produce a plan with multiple stakeholders. That's the stakeholder committee. We'll have public meetings for the general public to attend. And, Review at certain key points and provide additional feedback and uh, opportunities for us to amend that plan further. And then, uh, ultimately, yes, the planning commission will review it, provide recommendations, and then the city council will have final say. So it is theoretical that council could see the final product and then want large changes to it. Uh, however, we're hoping this committee that we're forming with several city committees with council members appointing people also participating themselves in the process that it'll be a large buying and before we can get to that point. Mm -hmm. So we'll find out what the council wants hopefully through the process as everybody listens to everyone. I'm no, gonna I'm be there either way. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah I will be happy to do that. I am also happy to sit on that. Um, Anybody else want to participate? Assuming Sarah responded and said thank you. Sarah, <laughs> yeah, Sarah has big credibility with our council. I, I think it's because of I just started this committee. And, um, <laughs> I, I'm just saying you already have lots of credibility. Um, I, don't, I don't know what your life is. I don't know if I am in a position that I can commit what I would want to commit to it at this point. I mean, it's definitely something I'm interested in. I just would hate to overcommit and not. I know you don't want to start now. Um, how many meetings are you doing in that? Once a month. Uh, uh, probably at least through June. Then maybe follow up meetings after that. So you probably will be to visit the school eventually. Um, yeah, lots of money. Depending on when it is in the month, it could potentially be in April and May. I leave the late May and I'm gone the rest of May. And so I'm not sure. Yeah. It's like a backup for later in the year, but then the next couple of months, middle of the beginning of summer, I would not be able to buy anything. Uh, let me, uh, Hillary, any thoughts on? Uh, this any, any interest from you? I just put in the chat that um, I mean, of course, I'm interested, but I don't. I'm also uh, like Sarah. I don't think I have the time. All right, appropriate boundaries. 
Yeah, so, I'm reading she's all she's about that. Yeah. So Darren and Debbie, <laughs> welcoming participation from other members of the committee. Sure. Okay. And uh, it, is this the kind of thing where we can actually manage just call and and ask and ask and Oh, sure, go. absolutely. Um, yeah. So if you, if you can't go, reach out. To yeah. Us. yeah. Okay. okay, definitely. Can we have a liaison? I don't think they're wrong with that. Uh, next up, the agenda item is award nominations. So, so we, we started to talk about our awards last time. Um, I've been a little bit of research on it since then. So the three nominees from last time were Utah Valley University as an institution, um, the Forum High School Coalition, and Brennan Leak, who is currently the BYP Sustainability Officer. Um, He's also part of the uh, so I, I'd like to bring a proposal for, for discussion, which is that uh, historically we've had one institution and one committee. And we might be able to have a very nice parallel to how many committee do we and all kinds of cool things. <laughs> Which Sarah is the contact. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just, you know, I there's there's part Sarah, of it, it's like maybe in a few years we need like even better, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a consideration. It's really good though. Um, and then Brennan and Lee, um, who have done a little bit of seminar on, um, also seems like he needs to make a really positive contribution to be right here and be. Yeah, it's great. Um, he gets to he gets to have a car. Yeah. Gets around on, on bicycle and public transit. So that's yeah. yeah. One way of walking along. Mm -hmm. So this is our award for um, we used to do businesses that work the same. Is that yeah. Yeah, the business one would be the okay. It's more of an institution sort of business approach. Um, Anyway, it, it would create a nice parallel between people who are working at large institutions and make a difference because we know that the, the effects of taking changes at large institutions are disproportionate. And it's still be a little bit more. Now, the fact that three of the committee members are DPU employees is that a hmm. conflict of interest? Conflict of interest. Um, I'm the one proposing it, but I have nothing to do. <laughs> and frankly, who would know? <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, I mean, frankly, it's whatever you guys think. I don't think there's a, you're not getting any benefit financially from this. No, no. 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 you're going to keep your jobs because of this award. I'm, a, I'm assuming it would be presidents and minutes or somebody like that. I think you said they were looking for, for more, for more. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> why not? Why not her? But I mean, uh, it, it could be delegated to me. It could be, yes. I mean, it would be a relevant person. Person. I do think there is a little bit of a conflict of interest that who you nominate to you. Yeah. So not me, but yeah. If you Even can, if you receive the award, I would be a little bit. Well, yeah. if you, if yeah. you do, yeah. I think that I don't would think. And I think it's fair, it wouldn't be too hard to find somebody that would receive the award for the half year. Right. Yeah. And, it's, and, and you have done a lot, but, it, but it's not just. No, I, I was going to say I could I could have um, my supervisor. Yeah, no, supervisor I, facilities. I do want to say Sarah has expressed a couple of reservations a couple of times now, and I, I, I worry about this a little no, bit. No, it's just as, as to whether timing because would be now that I'm in this position, year, right, I right, just right. feel like I will be scrutinized further, and you know the criticism of like, well, actually, did you know that who are you is doing? This that's not sustainable. This is yeah. not sustainable. And so, being prepared for mm -hmm. any potential criticism that comes. And and yeah, I mean, I, the university has done a lot, and it's come a long way, and it's really you know. But it's a big institution, so of course there are going to be areas where you yeah, know. Think about our previous award winners. We all have the same. Issues. It's true. It's true. Um. I, so I, I I guess at this point, um, I'm not necessarily opposed to the nomination. But I do have concerns about the potential impact on the university. But again, I I could ask like my supervisor to 
I, I don't think you should receive the award. Yeah. yeah. It to be an institution award. Right. And, and I'm proposing that. So. Mm -hmm. um, And, and, and to your point, I it does make kind of a nice if you do go that one. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, I'm opening this up for comments. Uh, I guess one thing I'll say is that I'm not opposed to, uh, to giving an award to the North Bicycle Foundation as well, but I do believe that we will be able to make sure that it will be better. Yeah. 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 I would, uh, I think I also mentioned um, like the Wilkerson Farm. Oh, I think that did. would be, a, That's right. I think that would be a yeah, nice yeah, award at some true. point as That's well. True. I think it would be, yeah. That would be good. Yeah. yeah, I knew you were going to do that joint award with the vacation for like the local various case. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put that at the same time or do you want that to be separate? Well, I think that we're, what we are doing is we're going to be in charge of the And okay. And I don't know that I, I don't have a particular case for. Does anyone have one? You took out your lawn, right? Yeah. We can award there. I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> well, you have passionate people who are actually doing it, let's be honest. Yeah. Do you have neighbors that are called to? I've seen some more there. I do know I have a neighbor who's flipping his, his strip, what I would call that flipping mm -hmm. strip. Yeah. I could also see if anybody at the who's running the program wants to reach out to a business group who would like uh, to just run the water plant. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 no. <laughs> Not really. They don't see a lot of site plants in there. No, we run into a lot of people who do no vegetation or people who do grass. <laughs> That's pretty much what I've run into. I know that the city was very water wise with their plants they put here when they did the mic and that's like right. Now that we're having uh, and, now the and, nice and in also. a few years when this is done. <laughs> yeah. It would be nice to kind of say that was a conscious decision to do that. So not so as far as like various businesses, yeah. Kind of surprises me that there's not more. You see, like the lead building, which is kind of you know more um, what's the other one? Low energy, energy fish, low energy, energy fish. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe <clears> even <throat> that would be okay. Just the businesses that are and for businesses and people with their yards, when you put your nurses in the picture in the office, it's a passion. And I think the ones that will eventually come down to educating their native plants that don't need as much water, don't have to be ugly and sharp. And we just dealt with something on yeah. city council about um, lowering our 50% down to, what was it? Yeah, uh, 33. <laughs> 33. Or 35. Oh, was that a session? It wasn't work session, but it was a work session. Okay. Yeah, we got to figure out too. There's a few Things. Yeah, I don't see that having a lot of resistance on the council, especially. But I know that that um, those who are the administrative. Oh, I think I think the big thing was examples. was okay. We were we were changing for some program administrator mm -hmm. through who was central central and the, the one resistance was there wasn't any um, grass stipulation was. Mm -hmm. Was it's just cutting down grass. Yeah, and so and we so wanted to have if there were lower grasses that uh, right. water. Yeah. Right. yeah. So I think that yeah. was that yeah. was that was yeah. the hang up with with the grass. Because some of us. Um, so where, where did we? I think we went down. We were. We okay. wanted them to go back and see if they would consider some grass lower. Grasses. Yeah. So more water wise grass options. Mm -hmm. You know, buffalo grass, which was warm. Other options. We thought it was a little ridge color. of the grass. I remember thinking that. And so we're, we were asking to say, hey, if, if if a person puts in this alternative type of grass, then maybe you would allow 50%. So this is still, a, still under discussion. Yeah. Well, we've met with them, and that's not likely to happen. Um, 
that there's been several cities that have already adopted the current standards that they put out there, Lehigh, and several others. And so um, we're a little late to the game trying to get amendments into it because then, yeah, but we did ask them to consider um, maybe adjusting the grant programs slightly. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have much success there. So actually, that's something I'm trying to help Jason with is come up with some language that will allow us to uh, maybe craft some carefully worded exceptions in our own programs or something. So okay. that's something I got to circle back on, but I haven't been converted onto this TF zone um, <laughs> project. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that the council is ready to not allow the grants. I think that might be a little bit of a kill for it. Yeah, the challenge is, you know, uh, it's a trade off. You know, um, if if we don't come with some type of workaround or exception policy, then the city could be in jeopardy that um, residents would not be able to access yeah. any of the funding, which is a real problem. Which is a problem. And Central Utah Water is not governed in the same way as most government agencies. They have a water board. I'm not even sure how they're appointed or elected. Mm -hmm. Nobody feels accountable to respond, certainly from their employees, because they don't have the same political environment we have. So they have somebody that has research mm -hmm. this Talk to Casey and, Shaw at all the seasons and help and have down some emails. <laughs> right. Um, who? Casey Shaw is from Central Utah. I don't know him, but I think so. He's, uh, he's on our public works. Okay. He's a water engineer. Yeah, and, and I'm not against anything um, they're trying to do, but it was very clear in the meeting they weren't tuned to sort of what we call nuance getting a piece of legislation through. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah. Um, well, it might have to with uh, 90,000 people denied access to the buildings. Yeah. But I don't think they saw the consequence of that. Either. <laughs> so we are trying to find a solution, but we can't find one so we can the council out to send a shot over the bat or something. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we're, we we're happy to uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we also are interested in um, finding a solution because it also denies us access to that $150,000 grant money for our city center that mm. landscaping, and this could be applied to Two or more years because the city sent in a two phase two year yeah. project. So it's actually about 300,000 if it was under standards. Plus, future. I would probably vote grants. for it. And that same grant is also available to all non residential entities in the city. Would the council vote for it? Well, $300,000 is a lot for our uh, water and sewer I think that's. I think some of the hesitation, though, is being a little heavy handed with the grass. Yeah, and I think I just, sorry, my brain's a little fried today. I can't quite remember exactly the solution I was working on. I'll have to go back and circle back and see how it's. Um, but I had something we were suggested to run by the city attorney and see if that would work. I think we're amenable to the idea of water wise, and having, but I think the grass was going to be I also remember. Yeah, we discussed oh, that. I, I, I had the same remember. issues. I, I think I'm suggesting that we add some language to our ordinance that specifically says that any property for a certain date, that will be date of the passage of the ordinance, uh, is exempt the from these standards, basically, the grandfather. And if they come to compliance, great, but they're not forced to. And that hopefully will be sufficient that we still have access to the funding, but it's very clear this only applies to new construction. I think that's an interesting yeah. And that would also apply to any. And that was actually something. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I have it. It's all good. My voice is also quiet too. So um, that would also then apply to, like, if a business changed owners and they were redoing yeah. their site, then they would then also have to. Yes. So what if we, everyone is indefinitely grandfathered in? It's until it's until you're used to it, essentially, yeah. or you redo your site. Did you uh, have a hard stop in about five yeah, minutes? Or did I need to go? And they were sort of amenable to it. Okay. okay. All right. Um, I noticed from our minutes last time we got out of system four, there was a copy. Yeah. 
I think we're going to be okay here. Uh, just to, to be clear, we are scheduled to do our uh, city council report on the 25th. Uh, our next meeting is at 18th. So uh, I would like Michaela, as part of our agenda items, uh, for us to look at the floor at this time. Okay. Uh, is there anybody who wants to say anything about that? Um, okay. Are, are there any other um, any additional calendar items that are coming up in the next? Is there anything for Earth Day in April? Are we going to make sure? Oh, yeah. We are. Uh, sorry. For you are allowed to have a booth. They'd love to have it back this year for Earth Day. Do a similar thing we did. Yeah. Looks like all last year. I feel like we can. That. I think so. Is it April 2nd? Yeah. 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 It's on. It was on social media. It, and, uh, I think I saw it in the Sorry, I think I got the word off this project. Um, but yeah, the pickup day will be the yeah, first of the May, I believe. So I would like I would like girls. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> We be in touch on. Uh, I have least. one for you. Now, <coughs> <coughs> to promote it and put it on social media. How are you using That's my deal. Put it in my name. Yes. Um, <laughs> they fit in most contacts. So I don't know about them. That's a quick transition. Next time. Uh, I will be in touch with you on Tobias. Uh, uh, we never really resolved uh, on the Okay. Thank you. I think they were both good. Um, all three are fine. If you want to put the bicycle, that would be done. We do bicycle next year. I think that would be a good one. They've been a very good community. They, have been. they gave us lots of um, passes for the community to come out. Alone, they're all there. I don't know. I have a very good They also donate a lot of food. Um, to, 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 no, no, they'll be around. They'll be around too. But I do I like I do like giving them a, a kudos for what the extra engagement they made this year. I've never seen that before. I mean, they really gave a lot, did more than ever. Mm. That's just like okay. I like to reward the good behavior. To know. No, I like to reward the behavior. That's good. Yeah. Good okay, thank you guys. You're the best. Thank you. Thanks, Debbie. That's good to know. Uh, what do you think? Well, there's some are giving you a goal. Well, was was there a particular thing that, that you spearheaded or that you were spearheaded this year that made them significantly awardable this year or something that is in the I sights mean, for next year that would make it better? They've for adopted next year? A, a formal sustainability plan and an energy action plan. Um, and, you know, they're just continuing to work on projects. They've got mm -hmm. geothermal energy. They've got the electron solar project that yeah. they entered into that agreement um, a couple of years ago. And yeah. it's supposed to come online, which will provide 100% renewable to the main campus. When does that come online? Supply chain issues, not yeah. sure. Okay. It's supposed to be sometime this year. Okay. Um, and they've got plans for converting turf areas yeah. over the next two years, they're planning on converting about 10 acres. 
So maybe with the solar, if they came online this year, and Sarah's going to be doing stuff for the year, or something similar. If we want to stick to just two awards. Yeah. My partner was with the lower guy, so I mean, I kind of like the this year as well. I am open to that. I like the idea of the board of your following or something. I think it's more practical in case. But what I can't tell from your description is, is that this year to do that? <laughs> well, that's that was the original plan. Was that it was going to come online? The electron solar project was scheduled to come online this year. Um, but it hasn't. Been. They're just they've had supply chain issues, and so that's where the holdup is. So maybe you do next year. Um, yeah, I like that. And then and we can celebrate the solar and we can celebrate the zero scheme. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. might have a little bit more. Okay. I feel like I need to call the vote. I we we know enough about that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, my proposal has been amended to uh, Little Christian Farm and Brennan Lake as our two. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So that is passed. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, is there anything you need from us on our thing? Um, I'll be in contact with, with Matt and we'll get that organized. I'm always happy to share it with people. Okay. Well, <laughs> and we will have it was our, very windy last year, but yeah. it was still <laughs> six months. We will have this meeting four days in advance. Yeah. So yeah. We, can also yeah. Talk more we put that on the agenda. Yeah. Earth Day. So, so Earth, Earth Day, uh, Ruth, and uh, my organization. So, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to look at the minutes, uh, they're very thorough. This is an uh, interesting puzzle. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you all see the, the uh,